Coming up on iPads in the Classrooms, it's great apps from Read Write Think. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're talking about some great apps from Read Write Think. Read Write Think is a joint project of the International Reading Association and the National Councils of Teachers of English, and they have been creating wonderful apps. We talked about a few of them in one of our previous shows when we talked about poetry, and this time I want to highlight some of their other apps. And the first one is an app called Timeline. And in Timeline, you get to create multiple users. And that's, again, a great piece because even if you don't have individual devices in your classrooms, students can create profiles on the app and therefore have their own piece in there. And you can organize your timeline by date, by time, or by event. Let's give a project a a title, let's say Nebraska, and you can start. And now you can add items to your timeline. So you just tap it and you say, hmm, I want to use a picture. Let's select something that I have that is related to Nebraska. Hmm, I don't know that I have anything. I'll We'll use a tech edge picture here. And so that's our picture. And you can play with a picture. You can uh, rotate it. And let's do this. And we can say done. And now we have this. We can add details to it. We can add more points on it. Uh, this time I don't have an image. You can change the position. And you can add as many as you want. Once you're done, you can save a draft. You can save final or you can send it. It saves as a picture, so you can share that picture. You can print that picture any way you want. It's a fantastic way to do project around authors, around uh, different books, and do the timeline within the book. You can use it for social studies. So there's lots of ways you can actually use timeline to create an interesting presentation. And you can even have a page or you have a page where all of the details of everything you wrote, even if you've got more details, are written just uh, as a list. So that's another representation of the same information. And this is called Timeline. The next one I want to show you is Venn. And that's a way to do Venn diagrams. In a Venn, you can create different Venn diagrams. And you can create them with two or three circles. Again, we've got the user. Let's um, talk about comparing, I don't know, cars and trains. So let's call it transportation. Right. And now we've got two. One would be the first circle, would be cars. And you can see you can change different aspects of it. So we'll have cars in one. And we approve it. And then the second one will be trains. You just double click on the labels, and it changes. You can change the color of the, of the circle. You can add a third circle, but um, I like using two. So here you can put now. Um, more information so you can enlarge it, but you can add information, you can add items. So the item might be wheels, and you say done. You can attach, you can add descriptions. In this case, it's here. Now let me make both circles larger, and, and you can add again a new item here. Let's 
something like multiple cars, right? And now you can shift it around. And the great thing about this, it's really easy to manipulate. And once kids create a few items there, you can actually have one ready with a few items in it. They can start manipulating this. So after discussion, if they decide that only cars have wheels, they can move it here. More discussion, etc. So you can have actually great discussions and great work before you finalize that Venn diagram. And then when you're done, you go again to finish, and it's the same kind of sharing options. You can save a draft for, to work further later. You can save a final copy, which saves a picture, or you can share it, which sends an email. And again, this is the kind of email that doesn't require the machine to actually have an account on it. It's just sending it, you need to know, of course, who you're sending it to, but it doesn't require students to turn anything in or do anything. And again, they have a second page with just the uh, text organized so you can actually have a list of everything you've used in that Venn diagram. So this is Venn. And the third one I wanted to talk about is called trading cards. And in trading cards, what you have is the ability to create trading cards for multiple reasons. I have a profile already, so I can log in. And what you can see is these are cards that I've already created, or I can create a new one. So if I go to create a new card, you can see that there are lots of options of create, for creating cards. And you can do it definitely with literature, with fictional or real people. You can do it with real places, so you can use it definitely in social studies and even in science. And you can use it for vocabulary learning, which is a great way to start having kids collect vocabulary as they read and their vocabulary gets richer. They explore those vocabulary words. So let's create a new uh, vocabulary card. Let's choose vocabulary and go next. Uh, let's type a word, let's say um, zodiac, so now you can see the card and you can add a picture, so we can actually add a picture from uh, our picture roll and I don't right now have anything, you can go online, search for something find something that you have authority to use and integrate it here. I'll just put a picture for illustration right now. So this would be the picture. And again, you can manipulate exactly where it's at. And then you write meaning, what part of speech it is. It is a noun. You can see synonym, antonym. And what's great about this is you can actually go to the other side and have some words that are associated with it, word clues, where people, where do you use it, who uses it, and personal connections. So you can see that this can be a very rich card for that vocabulary words, and this can create wonderful ways for students to create and then to practice. So these cards can be used as pictures on the iPad or exported or emailed, but they can also be printed out and made into actual cardboard cards. They print both sides and then you can make it. And as a result, you can actually have the students in your classroom print all of them and actually play games or uh, question each other and really get a lot of benefit out of creating this. I've seen students and teachers from first grade all the way to high school use this app, of course, at different grade levels, there's different levels of complexity and different levels of creativity, but this is something that can be used in every classroom for lots of different applications. So it's trading cards from Read, Write, Think, and it's a great app. Today we talked about three apps from Read, Write, Think. They're producing great apps. They are easy to share their final products. You can create multiple accounts on each one of them so students can share even if you have only one iPad in the classroom. They are very, very solid. They never, or at least in my experience, they never have any problems to them. They incorporate multimedia and I hope they will create more apps as they move along and I'll see you next time on iPads in the classroom.